Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, you guys. Hi. How are you? Hi, thank you. Hi, thank you. Excellent. Very good to hear that. I'm happy to hear that. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. How was your weekend? ¿Qué tal estuvo su fin de semana? Did you rest? ¿Descansaron bastante? Very good. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Excellent, you guys. I'm glad to hear that. Me alegra escuchar eso. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you and to being, to being here with you. Today we are going to start section four, all right? Ahora vamos a iniciar con la sección cuatro. Claro está, vamos a hacer un reading que tenemos por ahí que dejamos pendiente de la sección anterior, ¿verdad? Right? Esto más que todo para practicar, ya que en esta sección no vamos a tener eh, muchos readings, creo yo. Más bien, eh, sí vamos a tener, pero al final, ¿verdad? Right? Entonces, quiero que practiquemos con unos readings que sobraron de la sección anterior. Most likely, you already work on them. Lo más seguro es que ustedes ya trabajaron en eso. Pero, we're still going to practice, ¿verdad? Right? También vamos a desarrollar parte de la section four para que ustedes puedan avanzar ya con su trabajo. So, broccoli is good for you guys. Let's check. Beginner two, class nine. Let me get started. Do you remember? Se recuerdan, everybody. Mention at least three activities that you recall. Si bien es cierto, ya pasó una semana desde que vimos este tema, quiero saber si todavía recuerdan las activities. So, let me check. Vamos a revisar por ahí. Let's see. Alba. Hello, Alba. Good evening. Let's check if we have Alba over there. <clears throat> no, I think she's not. Or maybe yes. Okay, we don't have it. Let's go with Nancy Gutierrez. Hello, Nancy. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Nancy? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Very good to hear that. All right, can you please tell me at least three activities that you recall, al menos tres actividades que usted recuerda de las que practicamos la semana pasada, el vocabulario. Actividades, quiero recordar. ¿Se recuerda que teníamos los jobs? Y luego teníamos los places y luego teníamos las activities. Sí, déjenme que ahorita voy para otro lado. Espérenme, ahorita, ahorita. <ríe> ok, don't worry. Estaba, estaba en la cocina, pero voy para otro lado. No. <ríe> ah, Párenme. Para... Do you have them, Nancy? Las tienes. Si no, no se preocupe, podemos pasar a alguien más. Alguien más ahorita, ya después me pongo. Ok, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Let's listen to William. William Liborio. Ok, William, tell me three words that you remember. By the way, good evening. Good evening. Eh, sí, teacher, de las actividades que tuvimos. Eh, fueron crear eh, oraciones usando la estructura del, del B plus adjective. Ajá, eh, eh, hicimos también combinaciones de, de los lugares, eh, de las diferentes eh, profesiones o trabajos, uh -huh. eh, relacionándolos con los lugares de trabajo. Uh -huh. Eh, okay. Vimos la, lo que son las, es? el lugar en, en, en las oraciones, correcto. Play, ajá, corre, el lugar y las actividades. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. A ver, William, dígame solo dos activities de ese vocabulario que usted recuerda. Donde estaban eh, lugares y las actividades. Ah, eh, 
a cashier a cashier jobs is is hard digamos mm -hmm. okay. eh, eh, a cashier eh, a cashiers eh, eh, works eh, no yo no works te diría ahí verdad works mm -hmm. porque trabaja works eh, in the store in a store all right excellent William thank you so much me gusta mucho que recuerde el contenido excellent teacher ya uh, ya estoy por aquí de nuevo <laughs> okay Nancy tell me <laughs> Yo, los lugares los places que vimos la semana pasada in a hospital in a office in a store in a hotel y algunas actividades como guard and the uniform sit all day talk to the people work hard y, y las sentences que hicimos con con esta con estos lugares y actividades uh -huh. excelente Nancy very good thank you Nancy yo sé que está ocupadita también por ahí Nancy pero gracias por participar right excelente now let's go with number two Mention the structure of B plus subjective. Let's see, Angel. Veamos, Angel. Si recuerdas, las... ya bajo la mano, Angel. Sí. If you remember. No, está bien. Ok. The structure. Vamos a ver. The, uh, the structure uh -huh. of. B plus adjective. Vamos. Siempre comenzábamos con los articles, pero teníamos algo más. ¿Qué era? Eh. Puede buscarla, tal vez la tiene en el notebook. Sí. Aquí está. Vale. Ar, eh, the article, ar, article ah. are eh, a or an plus profession plus eh, a, no sé cómo se dice apóstrofe S. Apóstrofe S. Apóstrofe S plus verb to be plus adjective. Bravo, sir. Excellent. Good job. Right? Eso es muy bueno que siempre estén recordando las structures. Miren, <ríe> I'm going to be very honest with you. A veces en la emoción de que ya estamos aprendiendo a hablar, a veces se olvidan las estructuras y de hecho hay muy buenas personas eh, lingüistas que comprueban de que a veces eso pasa, las estructuras cuando ya estamos hablando a veces se nos nublan, ¿verdad? Porque ya estamos transmitiendo contenido. Así que, don't worry, no se preocupen. Sin embargo, si ustedes pueden siempre darle un review a las estructuras, you're welcome to, all right? Es muy bueno que lo hagan. So let's go with number three. Create one sentence using that structure. Esa estructura que el compañero Angel acaba de mencionar, Necesito que me den una sentence. ¿Alguien, algún voluntario que tenga una oración con esa estructura? B plus object. Ajá, no, no. Thank you. Ok. Um, de las que hicimos, fue a uh, Weather has a hard job. Eh, también a uh, Lawyer has a uh, a stressful joy. Exactly, that's correct, sir. Very good. Although in that one, ya tenemos el, el job, que sería el noun, right? Esa ya también equivale para el B plus, no, para el adjective plus noun. Right? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Arnoldo, so much for your participation. Let's go with number four. Mention the structure of adjective plus noun. Ahora sí, ya viene esa otra estructura. ¿Tengo algún voluntario que tenga la mano esa estructura y me la lea? Do I have a volunteer? Yo. Excellent, Carlos, tell me. Eh, Article A, am, plus profession, plus has, plus article, am, a, am, plus adjective, plus now, yo. Bravo, excellent. Thank you, sir. Yo. Very good. Now, thank you, Carlos. Right. All right. Let's check, you guys. Eh, utilizando estas, estas estructuras, ustedes ya hicieron some sentences, right? Ya realizaron sus oraciones. 
Así que si en algún momento les surge una duda, right, you are welcome to tell me. Ustedes pueden decirme, right? Si en el momento podemos solventar la duda, pues perfecto. If not, don't worry. Siempre se les va a solventar. All right, antes de movernos más a fondo en esto, solo les quería comentar algo. ¿Recuerdan el midterm exam? ¿Se recuerdan del midterm exam? ¿Sí? All right. ¿Recuerdan sí. ustedes que sí. había una sentence? Una sentence que creo que decía de bedrooms. Y pa, era para, no era sentence, era una question, una pregunta. Y teníamos que utilizar los auxiliares, right? Recuerda, auxiliares. ¿Cuáles son nuestros auxiliares en simple present? Do and does. Uh, that's correct, sir. Thank you. All right. Entonces, veíamos el análisis de esa sentence. Y como ya conocemos nosotros que el it es para objetos, right? Yo les mencionaba que de, yo consideraba que ahí tenía que ser el does, pero no. Después de hacer el examen con ustedes, me quedé viendo ahí unos reviews, siempre el examen. Y el it sí es cierto, es para objetos, right? Eso tiene que ser claro, para objetos, animales, or something else, o algo que no sea un ser humano, right? Pero en singular, por eso dice third person singular, tercera persona singular, all right? Entonces, por eso es que la plataforma no nos agarraba el does. Does the bedroom have, así decía la pregunta, does the bedroom have, bedrooms have, no sé qué, algo así decía, right, la pregunta. Entonces, solo les quiero aclarar que ese era plural, entonces sí le aplica el do, no es el does, right. Eso cabe destacarlo, que aunque sean objetos, animales, colores, right, el it le aplica o el do le aplica solo si es singular. All right. So I just want to explain you that. ¿Tienen alguna consulta en cuanto a esa paréntesis que acabo de hacer? No. Yes, teacher. Ajá, Ceci. Repeat, please. Ah, yes. Ok. La, creo que, déjenme ver si la puedo alcanzar a buscar rapidito aquí. La pregunta del midterm exam decía, do... Do the bathrooms. Algo así comenzaba. ¿eh? En la segunda parte. All right. Y yo les comentaba que yo consideraba que era el does. Aquí está. Ya van a ver. Ah, aquí está. Se la voy a compartir. All right. Rapidito. Esta es. ¿Ven ahorita la plataforma? Yes. ¿Se ve la plataforma o todavía está la presentación normal? Se mira la plataforma. Ya, ya se ve. Excelente. Entonces, aquí miren en esta, the bedrooms, all right. Entonces, decíamos, estábamos analizando con ustedes, all right, pero bedrooms es, es un object, decíamos, right. Entonces, y decíamos que en third person, para los objects o los animales o colors, utilizaríamos el does, right. De hecho, creo que alguien me dijo does have, que tenía sentido. Lo que no nos dimos cuenta es que aquí estaba en plural. Y la tercera persona es singular, right? Third person singular. Por eso no se le podía poner el das. Ya, yeah. right? Eso era lo que quería comentarles para que, nos, para que no pensáramos que la plataforma tenía un mistake aquí. Tenía un error. No, esto está correcto, right? Do the bedrooms have closets? Por eso es que en la respuesta dice, no, they don't, right? Porque están como first person based, all right? En plural. All right. Solo eso era lo que les quería comentar. O como una, una paréntesis extra, right? So if you don't have any questions or doubt about this, let's move on to the, let's continue with this, all right? So let's check. Actress. Lisa Parker has two jobs. Voy a leerlo yo primero y después voy a pedir unos volunteers. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, the auditions for her plays, no, the auditions for plays and television shows, during the day she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Right? Sí pasa muy cansada, pero al menos está cumpliendo su sueño. According to that rating, right? De acuerdo a esa lectura. Let's go with video game tester. 
Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. No nos olvidemos de pronunciar esas S, right? En este caso, el posesivo es esa S, Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. All right, now it's your turn. Ahora sí les toca a ustedes leer eso. Let me go with... Let's have Elizabeth Hiron, please. Paragraph number one, actress. Okay, teacher. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she is really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her, her schedule is difficult and she is tired a lot, but she is following her dream. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, Elizabeth. Let's go with Arnoldo, please. Paragraph number two. Okay. <clears throat> Lo, lot of teenager one John Blues Joe. He plays video games for eight hours a day. And he gets pay for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is ever boring? Never. John almost always win. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. All right. Thanks. Let's go with Ceci Hernandez, paragraph number one. Angel Cano, paragraph number two. Please. Action, Ceci. <laughs> Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During, during the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her, is, her schedule. schedule is difficult and she's excited a lot, but she's following her dream. Very good reading, Ceci. Excellent. Let's go yes. with Angel. Okay. Video game tester. Loss of teenagers. Okay, thank you. Teenagers, one young, young blues Joe. He plays video game for eight hours a day and he gets, he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. It is ever, it is ever boring. Never. John almost, almost always wins. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, imagine being paid for playing. Imagínense que les pagaran por jugar, all right? Y ocho horas. That's it. And probably he wins a lot of money, all right? He earns a lot of money, too. Así que that would be a really cool job. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys to the four participants that read in this part. Gracias a los cuatro participantes que leyeron aquí. Let's go with the next one. Dog Walker. Becky Peak walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine. Llueva o esté brillante, right? O esté soleado. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes, she takes 20 dogs in the park at one time. Let's check to this one. Let's go with um, Damaris Vega, please. Paragraph number one. Becky Peak. Becky Peak walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. That's correct, excellent, very good fluency. Let's go with teacher, Carlos Reyes. 
Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. Aquí es busy. Esa palabra significa ocupado, right? Busy. Is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades, grades homeworks, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy, right? So there you have it. Let me go with William Livorio, please, paragraph number two. Okay, teacher. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, great homework, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His student like his class, so he's happy. Correct, sir. Excellent. Thank you, William. Let's go with paragraph number one. Then again, let me listen to Carla Aleman, please. Paragraph number one. Okay. The walker. Becky Pick walk in the park every every day for main house. Right or Shane. Becky is professional dog walker. She walks dog for the people. Sometimes she takes 20 dog the park at uh, at one time, no se cómo se pronuncia. Yes, at one time. Exactly. Okay. Thank okay. you. Uh, repeat after me, please. Um, hours. Hours. Uh -huh. Many hours. Many hours. Every day for many hours. Mm -hmm. Very good okay. job. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go with Carlos Antonio, please. Paragraph number two. Okay. Carlos Ruiz is a businessman. He plans lessons, grading, former work, help with after school activity, and the sports. The teachers, his salary is green buff. That okay. His student like his class. So he's happy. That's correct. Thank you, Carlos. All right, you guys, listen up. This word, homework, right? Homework, tarea. Entonces quiere decir que grades califica las tareas o la tarea, right? So there you have it. Interesting information, right? Han practicado su reading y la verdad. La mayoría ha mejorado muchísimo y eso me da mucha alegría for you guys. Now let's move on. We have a short practice. Tenemos una práctica pequeña del simple present que me gustaría que ustedes hicieran, ¿ok? Solo son eh, 14 sentences, ¿all right? Alcancen a hacer las que puedan, ¿all right? Si no las terminan todas, don't worry. But try to work on it. Tratemos de trabajar en ellas. Recuerden que en el simple present hay unos verbs que llevan ese, right? O cambian a tercera persona. Eso es solo cuando es tercera persona. Si siempre estamos utilizando la primera persona, no nos preocupamos. All right? So, let's work. If you find out any negative sentence, eh, Use the auxiliaries. Si encuentra una oración negativa, ya saben que deben utilizar sus auxiliaries.
Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Jacqueline. Um, eh, Estaba teniendo problemas con la conexión. Me he salido varias veces. Y entonces acá las oraciones que no le entendí que íbamos a hacer. Ah, sí, estas tienen que formarlas en Simple Present, all right? Le voy a dar algunos tips. Recuerde para que para el Simple Present, if we have third person singular, si tenemos la tercera persona singular, vamos a agregarle unas letras al verb, ¿ok? Algunas veces puede ser es o es. Pueden ser s o es, dependiendo, right? Y if you have first person singular, si tiene la primera persona, don't worry, right? Ya sabe que ahí queda su verbo normal. If you have negative, you gotta use your auxiliaries. En dado caso tengan alguna negative, tienen que utilizar sus auxiliaries, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Finish teacher. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Finish teacher too. Excellent, Angel. Very good. <clears throat> Okay. 
We're going to wait two more minutes and we're going to start sharing, all right? Two more minutes and we start sharing. Teacher, usted dijo estar cherry. ¿Cómo? Ah, estar sharing. Sí, vamos ah. a empezar a compartir. Ah, ok. Sharing es compartir. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good question. Sí, porque dije yo, pensé y lo busqué, pero como se oye como cereza. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> cherry. No, cherry, cherry sí se escucha con che. Right. Eh, si no me equivoco, S H A R E, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm, exactly, R R. -R. Lleva dos R. Y de ahí sharing. Ah, no, usted ref se refiere a sharing o ah, a sharing. De compartir, share. Mm, sharing, sí, es S H A R I N G, sharing. Right. Thank you. Excellent, sir. Very good. You're very clever. All right, everybody, let's get started. Espero que ya algunos hayan finalizado con sus sentences. Vamos a iniciar ya a compartir. All right. So let's see, number one. Elizabeth, what do you have for number one? I get up at 6 a.m. I don't get up at, at 5 a.m. Bravo, excellent. Very good. You remember the grammatical books. Let's go with number two, Angel. My father shaves every day. Mm -hmm. Shapes, exactly. Very good. Let me go with. Okay. All right. Let's go with somebody else. Let's check Carlos, number three. Carlos Antonio. Hello, Carlos. Sí, perdón, ese no lo tengo. No lo tiene, all right, don't worry. No, ahorita no. No, no se preocupe. Let's go with Carla Alemán. Do you have it? Number three. Yes. Uh -huh. Margot, no tengo. A showers in the afternoon. All right, excellent, thank you. ¿Qué sucede aquí? A ver, ¿quién me puede decir cuál es el auxiliar que tenemos para hacer negativas Ajá, las, las oraciones? Ajá, let's see, Elizabeth. Teacher is doesn't. The auxiliar Does, is doesn't. Doesn't. It doesn't. Exactly, doesn't. Very good job. So, in this one, Carlita, ¿cómo diría entonces? Sí. Es, es. Mar, 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 Margot no does think a showers in the afternoon. All right, excellent. Ya el doesn't, Carlita, ahí ya lleva el negativo, así que no necesita dejarle el not. Quítale ese not y solo deje doesn't take. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Carlita, excellent. Thank you for your participation. Very good job. Let's go with number four you got. <laughs> Let's check Jose Garcia, number four. Teacher, esa no la tengo, pero podría ser uh, my sister brush her teeth every day. Exactly, pero my sister es tercera persona. ¿Qué cree que le hace falta el brush? 
agréguele una S, ¿cómo sonaría? My sister. La e. Brushes. Brushes. Una E y una S. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. I think somebody else. Uh -huh. Somebody else. Thank you, guys. Let's go with number five. Let's check number five in William. My parents don't watch TV in the evenings. Uh -huh, exactly. My parents don't watch TV in the evenings. That's correct. Let's go. Recordemos que el day, my parents equivale al day. Entonces ellos se quedan como primera persona singular, right? Excellent. Day. Very good. Actually, it's first person singular. <laughs> but let's check. Let's go with Ceci. Ceci, number six. Six. Karina poops on makeup at six duty every day. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Ceci. Thank you. Let's go with Marta, number seven. Flor. <clears throat> Flor, what's, what's movies on Saturday? Watches. Watches. Very good, Martha. That's correct. Let's go with number eight. Una, una pregunta, teacher. Yes. Eh, cuando la compañía dice Flor, watch, y el dos, no lo, no lo pronuncia. No, porque aquí no les recuerden ustedes que los auxiliares lo utilizamos para questions y para uh -huh. interrogativas. Uh -huh. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Entonces, ya estaba... Entonces, ¿cuál es el cambio? ¿Cuál es el cambio en el 7? Watches. Watches. La, watches. Le agrega la I S, la E y la S. Ah, ok. Thank you. Very good, Carlos. Thank you so much for asking. Right. <clears throat> Let's go with the following number eight. Douglas Alvarez, please. Number eight. Close your microphones, everyone. Si no le van a dar copia. <laughs> All right. Let's check Douglas number eight. My mother. My mother don't make dinner on the weekend. Excellent. Tell me, Douglas. My mother. Don't make dinner on weekend. By my mother, no, no cree usted que nos equivale a she. No siente usted que my mother equivale al subject she. Yes. Exactly. Entonces, ¿qué utilizamos con she, he, it? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que utilizamos en third person singular? Es. Doesn't. 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 That's correct. Entonces diría, my mother doesn't make dinner on weekend. All right? Very good, Douglas. Thank you. And let's go with number nine. Creo que vamos a llegar hasta la diez nada más, right? Aunque ahora no tenemos, eh, solo tenemos el vocabulary para iniciar y algunas sentences, pero sí vamos a llegar hasta la diez nada más. Let's go with Arnoldo, number nine. They? Hola. Hello. La nueve, ¿verdad? Night. Yes, number nine. They? Okay. Um, they study much movies on Saturday. They study, they study math on Fridays. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, 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 me equivoqué, sí, sí. No, no se equivocó, está correcta, study, they study. Ajá, they study much of Friday, ¿no es cierto? Excellent, very good job, thank you, sir. Arnold, let's go with number 10, the last one from this round. Es probable que mañana veamos las otras cuatro. Let's check number 10. Eh, ¿Sí? Yes. La nueve, no. La nueve no la entiendo. Why? ¿Por qué? 
um, el studies, um, no, se agrega la, la S o la... No. They, they is first person singular, right? They está en la categoría de primera persona. Entonces, no le va a cambiar nada. Hello, ok, Lucas. gracias. Excelente. Okay, gracias. Good. Very good, yes. They, recuerden una tablita que les puse yo al principio cuando veíamos el simple present, right? Let's go with the last one, number 10. In... Ana Maritza, please, number 10. My child. Mm, I couldn't hear you. Do I have a volunteer to tell me number 10? Tengo algún voluntario para que me diga la número 10? Ceci, tell me. Uh, my child takes a bath every day. Exactly. That's correct. Very good. My child. Very good. Excellent. All right, guys. There you have it. Hasta aquí nos vamos a quedar con esta practice. Espero que ustedes la hayan sentido bastante funcional, right? Porque sí es cierto, eh, ustedes practican con la platform, pero siempre he visto bien yo tener unos extra, unas extra worksheets para que ustedes siempre puedan trabajar su contenido y no se nos olvide, ya que el simple present fue el, el que vimos como la primera semana, right? So let's continue. También la semana pasada lo estuvimos bien. Food pyramid, all right? Yay, we're going to talk about food. Vamos a hablar de comida. Let's get into the business. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dietary meat and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. All right? Entonces, hay que consumir de acuerdo a esto. Muchos vegetales, granos, frutas. All right? En una dieta diaria. Pero también en la dieta diaria tenemos que consumir carne o otras proteínas. Pero hay que reducir la grasa. Que sería fun, oil, que es aceite, and sugar. All right, according to this. So let's check this information. We have the pyramid. We have cream at the beginning of the pyramid, right? The day no dice que todo va mal, la crema. All right, cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Esto equivale al fat, oil, and sugar. Then you have meat and other protein. Another protein. Let's check. We have fish, beans, chicken, nuts, eggs, beef, dairy. Dairy is lactose, right? We have yogurt, milk, cheese, fruit. We have bananas. Apples, oranges, strawberries, and mangoes. No decimos mangos, right? Mangos es en español. Aquí tenemos que decir mangos, right? Mangos. Tratemos de darle la intonación y no, tenga pen, no tengan pena, right? Tienen que darle la intonación. Mangos. Broccoli, carrots, lettuce, esta, lettuce. Lettuce es lechuga. Tomatoes, potatoes. Y eso equivale al grupo de vegetables, vegetales. Grains, we have bread and cereal. Crackers, crackers son galletas, right? Pero estas crackers son diferentes a las cookies que nosotros conocemos. Porque crackers son más saludables, right? And then you have rice, pasta, and noodles. Noodles. Quisiera decirles, que, quisiera decirles que son como los macarrones, but they are not. They are totally different, right? Son totalmente diferentes. Pero equivale al macarrón salvadoreño. <laughs> and we have past, all right? So let's check, everybody. Ahora les toca a ustedes decirme el vocabulary. Si necesitan ayuda al momento de participar, me avisen, okay? Let's start with... Kenya Ayala, please. Tell me the vocabulary, Kenya. Fat, oil, sugar. 
cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, meat and other proteins, fish, beans, chicken, beef, eggs, fruit, banana, orange, strawberries, mangoes, apples, vegetables, eso se me fue. Broccoli, lettuce. Broccoli, carrots, lettuce, potatoes, tomatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Bravo, excellent Kenya, very good. Repeat after me, vegetables. Vegetables. Uh -huh. Excellent, very good job. Okay. Let's go with... William Livorio, tell me the vocabulary, please. Fat, oil, and sugar. Cream, butter, oil, candy, potato chips, meat, and other protein, uh, fish, eggs, beans, nuts, chicken, beef, uh, dairy, milk, yogurt, Uh, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, uh, vegetable, broccoli, carrot, uh, tomatoes, lettuce, potatoes, grains, bread, uh, cereal, cracker, rice, noodles, and pasta. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Very good job. Let's go with <clears throat> One more person to practice in this sport. Let me go with Jose Garcia, please. Sí, che, ok. Uh, eh, perdón, ahí anteriormente me sacó la, la, la plataforma y ya no podía contestar. Ok, don't worry, Jose. No se preocupe, yo comprendo. Ok. Uh, cream, butter, candy, oil. Uh, potato chips, fish, beans, nut, chicken, eggs, beef, milk, yogurt, cheese, bananas, orange, strawberry, apples, mango, broccoli, carrot, lettuce, lettuce. Tomatoes, potatoes, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, uh, noodles, noodles, noodles. Yes. Okay, pasta. That's correct, sir. Thank you. All right, you guys, there you have it. This is the basic vocabulary that we have related to the food pyramid, right? Um, actually, all of these are the stage of, no, not the stage, like the, the things that we should in a daily basis, right? So let's check this other one, guiding examples, right? Para que necesitamos este vocabulary, aparte de conocerlo, right? Tenemos que hacer esto. Number one, Angel, please. Okay, guiding, guiding examples. Number one, I like butter and oil, and oil. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's correct. Ceci Hernandez, number two, please. I don't like candies and cream. Exactly, that's correct. And Marta Argueta, number three, please. My mother likes... My mother likes fish, nuts, and beans, but she doesn't like cheese and yogurt. Excellent, thank you, yogurt, very good. Yogurt. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent, you guys. Si se van a fijar que este vocabulario, quizás ustedes algunas de esas eh, words ya las conocían, right? Pero nosotros no las pronunciamos quizás correctamente. Y ahora sí ya saben cómo se pronuncia. Excellent. Now, ¿qué vamos a hacer, everybody? Let's check this out. Uh, Ceci, tell me the instructions, please. Uh, practice time. One, work individually. 
to uh, create sentence using the food pyramid. Three, use each of the categories from the pyramid. Four, some sentence should be on third person singular. That's correct, excellent, thank you, All right? Continuamos con el simple present. Recuerden, van a utilizar, ya les voy a poner de regreso la guiding examples, no guiding examples, para que los puedan visualizar. Van a crear sentences, ahorita por lo menos una, all right? Mañana vamos a tener suficiente tiempo para practicar más, pero ahorita at least one. And you're going to use each of the categories from the pyramid. Pueden escoger cualquier categoría de la pirámide y hagan una en singular, en third person singular, all right? Mañana vamos a hacer las que nos falten. Ahorita, just one. Teacher, ¿podría ver la pirámide, por favor? Yes, sure. Finish. Excellent. Very good. Let me check. Can you finish? Ah, check. Uh, check. Excellent. Very good. Tell me your sentence, Jacqueline, please. Okay. I like vegetable and fruit. I don't like broccoli and potato chips. My brother likes fruit and Syria. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent, Jacqueline. You really don't like broccoli. De verdad no le gusta el broccoli. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, excellent, Jacqueline. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's Thank go you. with Martha. Let's check, Martha. My sister likes apples and bananas, but she does like carrots. Very good, excellent. No olvido que tenía que poner el docent. Excellent, very good. Let's go with Carlos. Uh -huh, Carlos. I like fish and eggs. I don't like yogurt and pasta. You really don't like yogurt? De verdad no le gusta el yogurt? No. Okay, excellent, sir. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with Elizabeth Giron. Okay, my mother likes broccoli, carrots, and oranges, but she don't. But she doesn't like pasta. Very good job, excellent. Thank you, Elizabeth. Do I have another volunteer? Alguien más que ya finalizó su sentence? Ah, no, el tell me. I like milk and cereal. I don't like yogurt. That's correct, excellent, very good. Well structured. Está bien estructurada. Do I have another one? Eva, tell me, Eva. His parents like vegetables and fruits, but they don't like meat or eggs. Right, my parents like vegetables. Vegetables and what else, Eva? And give us vegetables. Meat. Uh-huh, right, excellent. Thank you, Eva, that's correct, very good. Do I have another volunteer, otro voluntario? 
No. All right, everybody, let's check this out. I'm gonna tell you something, all right? With this, we have worked the first lesson. Con esto solo hemos trabajado la primera lección, all right? Tenemos toda la semana para trabajar la section four, as far as I understand it, de acuerdo a su calendario, right? So we're going to work tomorrow in the other lections that we have, and so that you can work by yourself in the platform. Así que ya ustedes pueden ir avanzando en la platform. Si tienen alguna duda o consulta, pueden hacerlo. All right. All right, you guys, that's pretty much it for today's class. Tomorrow we have a conversation. Para mañana tenemos una conversation. Y vamos a volver a ver ese vocabulary. All right, everyone, have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.